Hey there, Fox 6 meteorologist Wes Wyatt with you on a Sunday afternoon, and it's been a lovely day across the area. Uh, no precipitation to talk about, just a little bit of snow across New England, but that's about it. A good portion of the country uh, dealing with some quiet weather. A little bit of a breeze out there as we glance from the camera at the McQueen Science Center. Beautiful sky. The uh, temperature is making a nice recovery. The air is still very dry. Look at Tuscaloosa all the way up to 57 today, 54 in Anniston, and Birmingham made it to 53. You can see that's close to the average right there, which is 54. The average low is 34 degrees. Still a lot of 50s, but I'm expecting some prime time radiational cooling tonight as those winds settle. Air still dry. We'll have readings in the upper 20s to the north. Uh, below freezing in a lot of spots out there tonight, so a cold start tomorrow. But check out the highs tomorrow afternoon. Yes, that's 62 in Birmingham. Enjoy it, because this is going to be one of the uh, warmest days we're going to see on the seven-day forecast. Uh, probably the warmest day we'll see in this uh, next seven-day stretch. Our next cold front's coming into play here. I've drawn it on the map. You can see it there uh, d diving into the Midwest. Not a whole lot of precipitation with that. And uh, this will move in here early Tuesday morning. We're still in that active northwest flow. So again, tomorrow uh, we're kind of in between systems. A beautiful day. And then the clouds start rolling in late tomorrow night. Winds increase with a chance of, uh, of, of maybe a few flurries across far northern Alabama early Tuesday morning. I, I don't expect much around here. You can see the models keep us very, very dry. And a lot of what we see there on the uh, model maps really won't reach the ground as the uh, air is still going to be very, very dry heading into the Tuesday morning time frame. But we'll get some sunshine back in here Tuesday afternoon. Cold and windy day. Highs only around 42. So expect that big change again tomorrow. Highs in the low 60s. Highs only in the low 40s for Tuesday. Long range model maps here. This shows the two coldest mornings early Wednesday and then early on Friday. Uh, those uh, dark lines you see here on this long range map, uh, that's representative. Of basically we're looking at the upper level pattern and watch what happens across the west. You see that little round contour there around around uh, San Francisco. Uh, that's an upper level low that some of the models are projecting will try to cut off uh, next weekend and that could help to uh, kind of tra transition the flow pattern up a little bit to where we actually have a milder west to east flow across Alabama and that would mean really no huge cool down so hopefully that scenario will play out. We're expecting uh, possibly temperatures into the 50s as we get into the 27-28 time frame with another rainmaker possible around uh, Wednesday the 29th and of course uh, this weekend we're keeping an eye on a system uh, over the Gulf of Mexico. Could spread a few showers northward on Saturday. We're going to hang on to a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. We'll talk a lot more about that coming up tonight on Fox 6 News. We're on late tonight, so I hope you'll stay up with us. Uh, we'll be back on around 1030 on Fox 6, and of course you can check our weather blog for the latest discussions at myfoxtracker.com. I'm meteorologist Wes Wyatt. Have a wonderful evening.